Okay, we're gonna start laying down on your back. Oh, okay. So that's nice. No, not you, down. Good boy. Um, and you just take some deep breaths here. You can like reach up with your arms, point your toes, maybe off to the side a little bit, get a couple good stretches. And just take a few nice deep breaths. All right, and then we're gonna take one knee, maybe your left knee, that's the one I'm starting with, and just pull it up to your chest and grab it with your hands and just interlace your fingers so you're wrapping your hands around your shin. And just take a few deep breaths, kind of holding your knee up to your chest. All right, then nice and slow, you're gonna let your knee drop down to the side, so the same side. So left knee is going to the left side. <laughs> Sorry, Spike is being ridiculous. And, uh, and you'll just kind of, I'm using my left hand to also just kind of hold my knee here. So it's kind of opening up my hip a little bit. Okay, then I'm gonna straighten your leg and kick it back out straight and then pull it back up to your chest again. And just kind of like one Mississippi here at the top with your knee bent to your chest and then dropping it down to the side and then like one Mississippi off here to the side and then kicking it straight back out again and then it finishes straight. And so kind of rotating through that. So knee up to your chest, dropped off to the side, kicking straight out and then back through. So we'll just do this a couple times on this side. I'm surprised Eden hasn't made his way down here to check on us yet. <laughs> he probably- are you, Where are you, in one of the bedrooms or? Yeah, yeah. He probably just hasn't heard that I'm talking to you. And he just <laughs> thinks that, cause Spike kind of hangs out in the front room and Eden hangs out in that Room. Yeah, the futon room. Spike has like a little post by the window where he keeps a lookout for <laughs> squirrels. I don't know. Oh, and I didn't message the breeder because by the time they took, well, Todd came and got Kaysen and then it was seven o'clock and I had to fix dinner. And by the time oh, it's okay. It's, yeah, it's all good. It's okay. Okay, we're going to well, switch legs. And so remember this first round we do a little bit slower. So just kind of take your time pulling that right knee up to your chest, or if you're doing the opposite side as me, just your other knee. Okay. And let's take a few deep breaths, holding it up here. No, it's, it's really okay. I just wanted, to, I honestly, that's just why I wanted to kind of like remind you again, because the crowing is just so obnoxious. Now, it, now that it's past spring break and also closer to puppy pickup day, um, is there a day next week that, or you're hoping this weekend? Well, yeah, I mean, I'm hoping even like today, I would go take them there. Okay. Any, they crow all night. Like, it's very hard to sleep. And so any day would be great. Okay, uh, okay now you're gonna drop your knee off to the side and you can kind of use that same hand to kind of hold it down there and get it stretch. But we'll hang out here for a few breaths. Yeah, they're just constantly squawking, and it's so annoying. And the yeah, bunny is and angry. Yeah, back from her, then I'll just call Sarvan and find out if they take them, because that's such a closer drive. Yeah, or I was going to look for, like, a hunting club or something, maybe. Yeah. Because, yeah, after you had that idea, I was like, yeah, this would be a great use for these birds. Train your dog how to hunt. <laughs> what the... <laughs> he just put his paw on my knee like he's helping yeah he's helping me get my stretch okay but then you can kick it straight back out again and then now we'll do those kind of like one Mississippi in each spot cycle through a few times <laughs> get your toy don't get me 
your toy. Hannah's participating now too. Yeah. Oh, she totally is. Yeah, you know, this dog is very clearly neglected. He's in dire need of attention. Yeah, kind of when I, I told you I switched which puppy. Yeah. I remembered, like, when you were looking at Lark. So yeah. the puppy that I originally picked, I mean, they all like the bulldogs. They all look very much the same. Right. Um, but anyway, so the one I had originally picked just had a little tiny white spot but it's so tiny that once they have fur it goes away uh -huh. but anyways the other one is um always it's a little smaller but it's always just kind of sitting still <laughs> you're like that seems nice <laughs> it's a much more passive dog where the big you know the one i picked was the bigger one but that's probably because she's the most aggressive and gets the best mama's the, breast gets yeah the most food Okay, now we're going to do both knees. So you're going to hug both knees up to your chest. And you can kind of hold under your knees or you can hold your shins, wherever is the easiest to get a good grip. And we're just hanging out here for a few breaths. And really try to get your knees up high if you can. Even if it's like pulling your low back up off the ground, that might be a really nice stretch. Okay, now you're gonna try to keep your knees up at your chest, but you're gonna let go with your hands. Perfect, and then you're gonna slowly extend your knees so that they're gonna kick straight up, but you're gonna leave them up off the ground. And then as soon as they get out straight, you're gonna hug them back up to your chest again. And then kicking them out nice and slow. And then if you want, you can put your hands under your butt for a little bit of support for your back. But you're going to kick your legs straight out and then hug up to your chest as high as you can. Nice and slow, kicking straight out. And then big pull up to your chest. So the hug up to the chest doesn't have to be slow. No, the hug up to your chest is kind of fast. Okay. Big hug. Okay. And then slow back out. Okay. And so it's, should you should feel it really big through your midline as you're like really pulling those knees up to your chest and then also maybe it kind of stretches out your low back like you almost rock back a little bit uh -huh. we'll do two more <sighs> all right and then we're going to roll on over And we're going to go on our hands and knees and we're going to do some of our cat cow. And so that's where you're like rounding your back, arching your spine, pushing your chest away from the ground for your cat spine, tucking your tail underneath and then cow pointing your tail up, pointing your chin up, shoulder blades together, tummy drops down. And then just kind of rotating between the two. Maybe one breath in cat, nice and slow transition to cow, one breath in cow, and then transition again. But just kind of moving in a way that feels good. Boss bike, it will leave your slimy dog boy. I left the door open because I thought that Eden would bother me at like the other side of the door. You know, sometimes he like just whines and barks at me if I shut the door. But yeah, <laughs> but it's like he he's just totally ignored us. He hasn't even come down here. Okay, and then now we're gonna do some of our fire hydrants. So you're gonna keep your back nice and flat, but you're gonna take one knee and just kick it straight up to the side. <sighs> Nice. And try to keep your back flat as you do it. So even if it doesn't come up very high, that's totally okay. 
I don't have much mobility out of my hips this way. And the same leg. Yeah, we'll just do the same side. I'm going to count like six. So maybe like one more. And then we'll do the other side. Okay. Okay, one more on this side. Okay. I vacuumed before I started, but I'm still... Oh, oh my gosh, vacuum. yeah. <laughs> That's the thing. This room is like, we kind of don't really come in here very much, so it definitely has like the cleanest floor, which is really nice, but yeah, still, still plenty of dog fur to go around. <laughs> On my black sweatpants. Okay, so next yeah. we're gonna we're gonna stay on the ground for the next part, uh, but we're gonna play around with our weights a little bit. So have your weights close by, um, and you can start with just one. But with your light weights, you might feel comfortable adding two, um, just especially depending on if they feel comfortable. But so we're gonna be on your back to start, and you're gonna have your feet flat on the ground, and you're gonna put your weight kind of on your lap. And so you'll find, again, just kind of find somewhere comfortable for it to rest somewhere in your lap. And then you're going to squeeze your glutes and pop your hips up. So we're going to do that glute bridge. And then we're going to hold here for one, two, three, and then back down nice and slow. Again, trying to lower one vertebrae at a time so that your back comes down before your butt. And then we'll go back up again and hold for three, two, one, again, down nice and slow. Bringing your whole back down before your butt. And back up. Three, two, one. Down nice and slow. Back up. Hold for three, two, one. Back down. Okay, we're gonna do two more. Back up. Hold for three, two, one. And then down nice and slow. No, spike. Okay, last one. Up. Go get your toy. Three, two, one. Okay, down. Oh my God. <laughs> He's so funny. He's like, this is my human. Uh, okay, great. So your butt's gonna stay on the ground. And your feet are going to go flat on the ground, but now you're going to hold their weight in both hands. Dang it. <laughs> and it's going to be down at your chest. And so your back is flat on the ground, and we're just going to press straight up with both hands on that one weight. And then down nice and slow. Yeah, great. Press straight up. Okay, this time hold for three at the top. Two, one, and then down nice and slow. And so we're doing six reps. Up fast. Hold for three at the top. Three, two, one, and then down nice and slow. And so three more, I think. Up. Hold for three. <clears throat> Back down nice and slow. <clears throat> okay, I have one more to do. Pressing up and then holding for three, two, one, and down. All right, and then you can rest a little bit. And so we're just gonna do those two movements. Um, oh my God for another set. Go get your toy. It's, it's as if you never get any attention. Um, so also next round, if you want, you could try it with two weights because I think you'll be able to do it with two weights. Hey, down. Good. Okay, so you'll have your feet flat on the ground and then this time you'll kind of like put your hands First of all, you can have your weights kind of arranged on your lap next to each other and find a place where you're just kind of balancing them with your hands, or you could kind of just hold them in place, kind of rest each one, maybe on your hip a little bit, and then you can just kind of hold them here as you extend up, 
hold for three at the top, three, two, one, and then lowering, again, try to get your back down before your butt. And we're gonna do six reps. And you can do them on your own, but just hold for three at the top. And again, maybe just trying to find somewhere that's comfortable to rest these weights on your lap. And remember to keep your heels on the ground and really squeezing through your glutes as you press up. And you're holding for three at the top. I think I have one more. <laughs> it's hard I to count. <laughs> okay, and then after we've done six of those, we're gonna do six of our floor press. And so now you have a weight in each hand, <clears throat> and you're gonna press up over your chest. <clears throat> and then as you're lowering down, remember your elbows kind of come down and back at like a 45 degree angle. And then pressing right back up again. And hold for three at the top, three, two, one, and down nice and slow. Nice, perfect. <laughs> and then we'll take a little break. We'll do it two more times. Oh, okay. So and then we'll stand up for a little bit. Yeah, you can stay here. <laughs> the creature's being a little better. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to say his name. Because it'll right. get him excited. <laughs> that was something else I learned from some video. Is like having a lot of other names. So that you can like try to get. Because you know you're kind of counting on exciting your dog by using their name. To get them to like do what you're asking them to. So when you're trying to like not engage with them. You want to have like another word to use you know. Yeah yeah. When you're just referring to them, not exciting them. Totally, because if I were to say his name, he'd come over here and do something to my face. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's good he knows his name. <laughs> yeah, he knows good. But when he's, like, distracted by something he doesn't want to listen, he doesn't know his name. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, we'll do another set. Okay. <laughs> Find that comfortable spot for your weight on your laps. This one is hard to get comfortable, but... And then remember, hold for three at the top, and we're gonna do six reps. Okay, this is my last one, pretty sure. I have one more. Perfect. I think I might have started before I started talking. I was just like doing reps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I was a little behind. <laughs> but okay. next will be our floor press, and it'll be the same three second hold at the top. Just press it up, hold for three, two, one, and then down with those elbows at about a 45 degree angle, down and back. And try to keep your shoulders flat on the ground the whole time, even when the dumbbells are up at the top. So try to keep your back flat and not rounding toward the dumbbells at the top. And then after you do six, we'll set them down and rest another 
minute before we do one last time. Bye. It's too boring. Yeah. That was good though. It's been a while since I've done like a workout with him, so he was actually pretty good. Oh, we have time for a sip. Yeah, you can grab a sip. I'm grabbing some of my coffee. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm gonna sip is my coffee. <laughs> Uh, waiting till 10 for coffee is just too late to I got avoided the headache yeah I know I just like to start the day by having some coffee that Rory made <laughs> well we have like the machine so it's easy enough to just do it in the morning oh. and then the pot's ready which is very nice It is so yeah, funny. that picture of Rory catching the ball just kind of popped up on my Google Photos. It'll sometimes just pop up on my screen. It's like, what a cute smile. Yeah, my pictures do that too. Like They just are like, hey, do you want to see this picture? I'm like, oh, yeah, that is cute. <laughs> I know, it was funny because I was kind of like recording Emmett do the chicken dance when it happened. So I like kind of got a video of it, but not really. Yeah, and also you could see Scott going for it and not getting it, but Rory got it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, the guy, like, threw it to Rory. It wasn't like oh. a... Yeah. It wasn't like a foul ball or something. They were, like, throwing around on the field, and the guy threw it to him. Oh, are you back? Our spotter's back. <laughs> okay, we'll do our last set. He's like, you gotta keep moving. Time's up. <laughs> no chit-chat. <laughs> it's so funny. I was just watching you. All right, okay, we're gonna do our six reps. Hold for three at the top. Okay. <laughs> Every time I do a rep, he's like, you're disturbing me. <laughs> <laughs> no, Spike, you're the disturbing one. Six. Yeah, I was gonna say, I think I did my six. Okay, then we gotta do six of our floor press with the three second hold at the top. stand up for the next part. <laughs> okay. Oh. The one thing. There we go. It's like I know I have a stopwatch in here somewhere. Okay. Load. Okay, great. Perfect. Okay, cool. So first thing we're going to do is you're going to hold your dumbbells, one in each hand, and you're going to take a little step, soft bend in your knee, and then just bow forward. Both dumbbells will kind of be tracking in front of each leg. And you're going to keep your back flat using that Nice kind of good morning form. And the dumbbells will just pass your knees and then come back up. And so you'll get a little bow with one, yeah. And you're gonna try to keep your hips square. You're gonna send your butt back. Keep your low back flat. And again, your dumbbells are kind of just getting barely below your knees or maybe just to the top of your knees. Each knee just has a soft bend. 
but your hips stay high and your back is flat as you bow forward. Nice. And again, you can keep your, try to keep your head and neck neutral as you bow forward. So you're not going to be necessarily like looking straight up and trying to keep your head up. You've got to keep your chin tucked. <clears throat> okay. And then the next movement that we're going to do is going to be a little clean with our dumbbells. And so we're going to break it down a little bit. The first thing we're going to do is just pull your dumbbells straight up like this. Perfect. Okay, great. Keeping your elbows high. Nice. Okay, great. Now you're going to use your hips to pull them up like you're hoisting casein or something. And so you're going to follow that same path, but instead this time you're going to start with a little dip and then you're going to go fast and pull them up and then right back down. Nice. Just pull them up and right back down. Perfect. Don't stop at the top. Yeah, almost like if you were to let go, they just fall right back down. Yeah, no stop at the top. Great, okay, this time, instead of letting them come right back down, you're gonna turn underneath and catch them with your elbows under the weight at the top. And then you will stop at the top. Perfect, there you go, and then back down. Yeah, and so this is a clean. We'll do a couple more. Really nice. Looks perfect. Yeah. Okay, and then we're gonna leave the weights here at your shoulders. And you're gonna take a bigger step than last time, a really big step. And you're gonna bend both knees to just drop your hips toward the ground and then back up. Perfect, yeah, you don't have to go all the way down, just a little bit and then back up. Great, keeping weight in your front heel and your back toe. So you're not leaning forward. Great, we're just doing some of our split squats. Like a little half split squat. Let's do three more and then we'll switch sides. And so a big step for these ones, keeping weight in that back toe, front heel, chest up, and then just bend your knees to go a little bit down and then back up. Perfect, really nice. We'll do two more. All right, and then when you set your dumbbells down, you're gonna set them down one on either side, like kind of far away. And then you're gonna start on one side and you're gonna like step to the middle and then all the way over and then to the middle and all the way back. <laughs> nice. Okay, we'll just keep doing that for 20 more seconds. Hey. Three, two, one. Okay, now we rest. So we'll have one minute to rest. And basically we'll have one minute for each station. We're gonna do one minute of that walking good morning. So we'll do one minute walking good morning, one minute little cleans, one 30 seconds per side or one minute total of our front rack split squat and then our step overs for the last minute and then we'll rest a minute. Okay, and then our pack sit. Yeah. 20 more seconds to rest. Oh, well, I'll take that sit. Yeah. And it's okay if you take your sip into the walking good morning time. But we'll go in about 10 seconds and we'll have one weight in each hand. Three, two, one, and just a little step for these ones. And then a little bow. Little step, little bow. Trying to keep your hips high and your back flat. And your whole spine stays all the way flat from the tip of your head all the way down to your tail. <laughs> I know you're always like, I don't have a tail. <laughs> just if you did. Pretend, your pretend tail. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> what kind of tail do you have in your pretend 
tail? Um, like what kind? What kind? Like of? An Eden tail. Oh, like Eden's? <laughs> yeah. Not like a horse. I mean, no, but when I was pretending I had a tail, it looked like Eden. It was <laughs> Eden's, yeah. Or more like Kona's because mine's docked. <laughs> oh, oh yes, it's a short tail, a docked Eden tail. Okay, three, two, one. We're gonna do our cleans now. These ones you kind of just jump up to your shoulders. Yeah, perfect. Nice. I imagine like a big long horse tail. Ah. <laughs> or like a red panda tail. A red panda tail? It's kind of like a raccoon tail, I think. Oh, okay. So <laughs> but it's like a different color, I think. Okay, we have 20 more seconds for our little cleans. Perfect. You're like, this is exactly what I was doing with Kason all day. Well, Kason likes this. <laughs> oh, okay. We'll do those next time. <laughs> I had it after this day. I don't know how much Kason weighs, but probably more than my weights. <laughs> but yeah, definitely. Three, two, one. Okay, we're going to do our split squats now. So that wide stance, and just we're going to stay on this side with the weights at your shoulders. Okay, three, two, one, switch sides. And try to keep your chest up, weight in that back leg and the front heel. All right, three, two, one. So set the weights down pretty far apart. You know, so your whole self can fit in between. And then step all the way over to the side and all the way back. Whoops, don't trip on your dumbbells. <laughs> 30 more seconds for these. Three, two, one, and rest. One minute to rest. And it's 9.20, do you wanna do one more set or do you wanna be done? Okay, let's do one more set. Okay, one more. It takes exactly five minutes. Well, four minutes, because perfect. five minutes includes the rest minute. Yeah, perfect. And you can just rest while you're doing your next thing. <laughs> right, while well, I'm redoing my ponytail, washing the sweat off my face. Yeah. That'll be your rest. Um, they'll have to just see me in these clothes. Those clothes are great. I'm pretty sure Granny and Mark like you in whatever clothes you're wearing. Yes. <laughs> and Tracy and Kelly. Oh, yes. Yeah, everybody loves you no matter what you're wearing. Oh, I have to show you quick a book I found in the garage. Uh, you can't tell me. Oh, that. yeah. That's one of little cardboard books. Yeah, I definitely remember that book. I know there's more of them, though. I don't know where the rest are, but they'll come up. They'll be found. Okay, ready for the last set? Ready, Thanks. set, go. Oh, it starts with our walking, walking good mornings to start. Yes. You started to confuse me. What? Like, oh, I'm the one who remembers what we start with. Isn't this what we start with? Yeah, but you, it looked like you were getting ready to do the cleats. Oh, oh, maybe I was. Maybe. <laughs> I was just confused by what 
the animal is doing in here. Oh, yeah. And you're just making <laughs> Look at him. He's being so weird. Are you weird? He's doing really good. Yeah. Yeah, he just wants some of the attention, but he doesn't need to be too, he's not too distracted. Okay, three, two, one, cleans. Yeah, like he doesn't bark or anything. Well, you're not barking at me right now, so that's nice. He just wants to be leaning on me. Okay, 30 more seconds for cleans. When you get it up here, are you are the weights hitting your shoulder tops? Yeah, a little bit. Okay. I just wasn't sure if I was supposed to hold them higher, just You can. Or if it's like if it's bothering you, you can catch them a little higher. But they touch my body a lot. Oh, okay. I just didn't know if I was supposed to, because all of a sudden it's like, yeah, I keep resting on my shoulders. Is that what I'm supposed to do? Yeah. Okay, ready, set, split squats. And so these ones too, like they'll be resting on your shoulders a little bit, like touching your yeah. shoulders, even though you're holding them up. Right. And so, you know, sometimes if I am working with heavier weights or doing lots of reps, I might get a little bruise or something on my shoulders just from doing lots of reps, like not because they're like banging so hard that I'm like smashing myself in one instant. Okay, three, two, one, switch. But yeah, it's definitely right for you to be touching your shoulders with the dumbbells. Okay. And, and again, if it's uncomfortable, there's other ways we can hold them. No, my weights are so light. It's just a tap on my shoulders. I okay. Know, I suppose I'm them or just looking more at your weights, how heavy they are, trying to decide what's happening over there. <laughs> no, these are only 10. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're not that much lighter than mine. Enough, I'm sure that would be Three, a big difference. Three, two, one. Okay, wide. And we got our step overs. <laughs> this is where they really make a difference. They're harder to step over when they're bigger. No, I'm just joking. So he says, Tracy and Kelly? Yeah. Three, two, one, rest. I told you I saw Kelly at the pet store. Did I? Yeah, a while back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Either you told me or Kelly told me. <laughs>